we are moving to a style of classroom called mastery learning. In an ordinary classroom, you come in, you sit down, and you might hear blah, 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 blah. And one of two things might happen. You might think to yourself, I'm bored and miss everything. Or you might think to yourself, I'm lost and not want to ask any questions so nobody knows that you're lost. Well, in a mastery-oriented classroom, everything's different. Somebody had the bright idea, why not let students learn at their own pace? That means that you get to choose when you're ready to move on. Here are the basics. At the beginning of a unit, you will need to know the goals of the unit. I will give you a sheet with objectives. And you will have some required assignments. You'll need to watch videos like you've been doing. You'll also have some problems that you'll need to do to practice. And there'll be one or two required labs. Then after that, it's up to you. You can choose from a menu of assignments. Uh, you will not have to do all of them, but choose one or two or possibly three, depending on the unit, from that menu of assignments. Uh, that appeal to you. Maybe you like to draw. One of the assignments might be to draw something. Or maybe you are talented at film. One of the assignments might be to film something. Or maybe you really like doing labs. One of the assignments might be to design your own lab. Or maybe you really like doing problems. And one of the assignments might be to do some really challenging problems. It's up to you. You get to choose. And finally, when you feel you're ready to learn, uh, you feel ready to move on, you take the test. Now, what about your grades? Great question. Your grade will be based on two things, your weekly progress and your test grades. Let's talk about your weekly progress. You need to be motivated to keep moving on. So I will set some goals for you. By the end of next week, I'll say at the beginning of a unit or at the beginning of a week, in order to get an A, complete X, Y, and Z. In order to get a B, complete X and Y. In order to get a C, complete just X. If you complete nothing, you will not pass the progress grade for that week. As for tests, you get to retake them as many times as you want. Now, you shouldn't take the test the first time until you feel like you're ready to get an 85%. You must get an 85% before you... Uh, for a test to be entered into the gradebook. Anything less than 85% doesn't work. Now there are some more details to be worked out. This is the first flipped mastery unit we are doing. So uh, there will be some kinks in the system, but we will work those out and hopefully all will go well. I welcome your suggestions. I welcome your complaints. I welcome your groans of agony so long as they are constructive and help us improve the classroom. Thank you very much.